hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video i will teach you how you can create this type of progress bar using html and css we will also add this type of animation and this animation will work on page load only one time and friends it is a responsive card you can see that on mobile devices our these progress bars will look like this so friends video is going to be more important and before start i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos without any delay let's start so friends first of all you can see that i have two files the one is index.html and the second is style.css and to the right side you will able to see the output first of all i will create a basic html structure here and type skills bar design next inside the body element i will create a div with class wrapper create our title here like my skills next create another div with class skills wrapper inside this i have to create a div with class bar create a div with class info and create a span element here and type a word inside this html next create a div here with class progress bar and inside this we have to create a span element with class html basically this code is representing our one skill bar and its title like html we have to copy this complete code with class bar and paste here type here css and give the class to the span element css next again paste this code i will type here javascript and give a class to this span element javascript you can see the output and at last again paste the code and type here react.js and give a class to this span element react.js so friends we have done with our html code next open the style.css before this we have to link our css file with our html code you can see that this line next open style.css and type here colon root <coughs> color primary rgb and i have choose this color code next type here star padding 0 margin 0 and box sizing border box next we have to use here a google font to add the google font open the google and search here google fonts click on the first link click on three bars and select fonts here you can search for your desired font i am going to search for poppins this is the font click on it scroll up and click on regular 400 i will select this and click view selected families click import copy this link and paste this in your css file next copy this font family property and paste this you can see the output next friend copy this body element paste here and type here display flex justify content center align item center and minimum height 100 vh so basically these four lines are to make our content exactly at the center position of our screen next type here background color type this color code and width 100 percent next copy this wrapper class paste this class here and type position relative width 100 percent and maximum width 500 pixel background color copy this color code paste here and next friends we have to type here a box shadow property to add the new morphism effect on our this skills bar card so i will type here box shadow 10 pixel three times minus one pixel and type this color code to achieve the same results 169 and the opacity would be 0.60 next type here a comma before semicolon hit the enter button and type these values like minus 10 pixel two time 10 pixel minus one pixel type here rgba 255 255 255 and the opacity would be 0.7 so friends you can see that we have a new morphism effect on our card next we have to add a padding for our card top and bottom would be 40 pixel and right and left to be 30 pixel you can see the output type here border radius 10 pixel so you can see a border radius around our these cards next friends copy this h3 element paste here and before this copy this wrapper class and paste here type here font size 1.7 rem and text align center so you can see that our title is 1.7 rem big and it is center to our card next friends we have to copy this skills wrapper class paste here and type padding 0 and 20 pixel 
नेक्स्ट कॉपी दिस बार क्लास पेस्ट हेयर एंड कॉपी दिस क्लास पेस्ट हेयर एंड टाइप मार्जिन ट्वेंटी पिक्सल एंड जीरो सो यू कैन सी द आउटपुट दीज बार्स हैव मार्जिन एंड दे आर लुकिंग बेटर देन बिफोर नेक्स्ट फ्रेंड्स कॉपी दिस इन्फो क्लास पेस्ट हेयर एंड बिफोर दिस कॉपी दिस टू क्लासेस एंड पेस्ट दैम हेयर एंड टाइप margin bottom 10 pixel next copy this span element which is basically the title of our skill bar so copy this span element paste here and before this copy these words and paste them here type letter spacing 1 pixel and text transform upper case so you can see a little bit space between these words and these are all in upper case next copy this progress bar class and basically this is the primary part of our video and before this copy these two classes and paste them here type width 100% height 15 pixel background color type this color code border radius 10 pixel position absolute not absolute but relative and overflow hidden this position relative with work with the position that we will assign to this span element we will assign position absolute to this element and next we have a css property overflow hidden it means that the inner content if it will exceeded the progress bar user will not able to see that content border radius 10 pixel you can see that we have 10 pixel of radius of our progress bar this is a background color for our progress bar and this is the height of our progress bar and this is the width and because we have assigned some padding around our card that's why these progress Progress bar are looking a little bit smaller than 100%. So friends, next we have to copy the span element inside this progress bar class. Paste here and before this, copy these classes and. paste them here type position absolute height 100% border radius 10 pixel width 70% this is a temporary property and background color color primary background pro temporary property means that we will remove this property in the last of our video because we have to assign different widths to our different progress bars and next friends we have to add an animation to our this skill bar so what we have to do type here at the rate of keyframes animate this is the animation name inside this i will type 100% transform scale 1 and similarly we have to copy this property and paste here and type here 0 because by default uh, it will not display to the user but by using animation we will make it 100% means that how much width uh, user will define to the span element so friends next we have to assign this animation to our span element so i will type here animation my animation name duration and type here cubic bezier type the same values to get the same results and next we have to type here forwards forwards means that our animation will remain at this state when animation will be completed so friends you can see that now our animation will look like this next we have to do one more thing copy this html class paste this class here and before this copy this complete line and paste this here make sure do not add any space between span and dot html it means that a span element with a class html and if you will add a space here here it means that we have a html class inside this span element so next here we have to type here width 70% and remove this width from our this span element next copy this paste here four time copy this css class paste here and change the width to like 60% next copy this javascript class paste here and change the width to 85% and next copy the react js class and paste here and remain the width 70% and change this width to 90% so friends you can see that we have complete our code so friends here you can see that on mobile devices our card is looking like this so open style.css and here we have to add one more property which is margin 15 pixel now you can see that our card will look like this on mobile devices and it will look like this on desktop devices friends i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section and please ignore my by english because english is not my native language that's why i cannot speak it in 100% correctly so friends share this video with your those friends who want to learn web designing and finally thanks for watching